What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going over how to install the uh, M levers on a 2020 to 2021 BMW S1000RR. As you can see, we got the package right here and there is a part number if you wanna see. So we'll open these up. We have our brake lever, I believe. And then our clutch lever. If I'm not mistaken. So the reason why I'm making this video because I've seen some people having issues um, installing these things. So we are just going to show you guys exactly how to do it. And that is the uh, clutch lever. It's, got, it's nice. It's got the little dial on it with the BMW on it. And uh, it's got a nice finish to it. It's got the M logo on there, which is cool. And it is foldable, but I'm not, I can't do that with one hand right now. So I'll do that when it's on the bike and I'll show you. Okay, there's your clutch lever. And we'll get out the uh, brake lever. All right, and there's our brake lever with the M logo on it. And uh, there's the collar that we're gonna have to use. They put a zip tie so it doesn't get lost. And you'll notice that this clutch lever, it does not have one in there. So that means that we're gonna end up uh, using the stock one. It comes on the stock lever, so. All right, let's go to the bike now. All right guys, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna end up putting a rag over here. There is a, if you see right here, there's your bolt that holds the lever on and there is a nut on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right over there. So what you'll need is a 10 millimeter socket to get this nut off. I already loosened it, so I'm just going to take that off for now. All right, there's your nut right there. And then you'll need a screwdriver to take out the bolt. This is gonna take a little bit. Just be careful not to really Go crazy with the screwdriver because you don't want to end up scratching up where the uh, master is. All right, so I loosened this up as much as I needed it to. Now it just pulls out pretty easy. Put that over there because we really reuse that. And then the lever is just going to slide right out. Push this forward, you can see. And there it is. So here's the brake levers side by side with obviously the stock one being on the top and the uh, BMW M lever on the bottom. They are a pretty similar shape. So we'll just kind of put this over there. As you can see, it's very similar, almost identical to the shape. Also, something that I noticed is that this lever is actually about maybe a half an inch to three quarters of an inch shorter in total length compared to the stock le uh, lever. So it's probably like the best happy medium between a shorty lever and the standard length. All right, now the reason why I have this rag here is because just in case, you know, your belt buckle or something ends up, you know, hitting the bike when you're trying to put this in, or, you know, if you have your keys hanging on your belt loop or something like that, you know, it won't end up scratching the bike and also the fact that you know if you're when you're taking off the nut for the lever if you accidentally drop it it will drop in here and you won't lose it because if it falls down there good luck finding that thing because the nut is pretty small and also the uh the collar that's in the m lever that could also slip out as well so obviously you don't want to lose any of these parts so i cut the little zip tie i took this part out and i lubed the whole collar on, on the sides and I'm moving up the top over here and over here. Now in here, inside the lever, I don't know if you can see it, but there is that little silver part. You have to find the part where there's a notch, basically a little hole, because this part right there, that little rod thing that sticks out, it's, you know, to activate the brake light, 
it has to go into this hole. So you're going to have to move this thing over just a little bit. And I don't know if you can see that, but now I have a spot for the rod to go in because there's that hole right there. So like I said, make sure you lube the top part, the bottom part of the collar. You know, there is a spring in here to make the uh, lever pull up when you adjust it. So it does have a little bit of play there. So I'm just going to, I got a little bit too much grease there. Some grease there. And there. That is way too much, but better more than not enough. Just go like that. I'm gonna just push this over here like that. All right, now you can see we have. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but like I said, we have that slot for this to go in. All right. Also, this piece you want to make sure. You lube this thing up good too. I don't think they lubed it from factory, but they really should have. Or maybe it was just because they didn't put a lot on it and when I took it out. All right, so I'm just gonna put this down for now. Try not to get any of the um, grease on the threads. You could always clean it up after you put it on. All right, make sure we see our hole there. We're gonna line it up and we're gonna get a bolt while we're doing this as well. All right, so we're going to line up that little rod into that hole. All right, and then that just, just kind of pull it forward just a little bit, enough to push this in there. There you go. See how the bolt ended up jumping in, in there. Now you know it's lined up. All right, we're gonna tighten this up. Now this thing's, this uh, screw, is supposed to be tightened to one newton meter. So I'm just gonna make it snug because that should be right around where it needs to be. Nice and snug. Check the lever to make sure it operates correct correctly. You should be able to have a little bit to move it up. Okay, that's good. Now, obviously, you'll want to turn the bike on and make sure that the rear brake light lights up when you pull the lever. So I'm going to pull it in now. Okay, release and it lets off it, so you know that's working. Also, since the bike is on, we're just going to test it to make sure. Okay, and that works perfect. So we're good there. And uh, okay, so now you just end up getting your paper towel, clean up those threads. I'm going to put a little bit of blue uh, thread locker on there after you know I wipe it down to make sure there's no grease on it and then you tighten the little nut to six newton meters. Like I said, make sure you keep, keep your uh, cloth out over here when you're tightening it, just in case you end up dropping the nut. All right, so now let's go look at the uh, clutch lever. All right, so we got our towel back in place to make sure we don't lose anything. This is a T30, and there is a little silver nut that's on the bottom that is an eight millimeter. So you're gonna, I would first take off the nut and then for this adjuster right here, you end up screwing this part in all the way, and then you're gonna screw this all the way into the perch. All right, so what I did was, I ended up actually pulling this uh, cable out a little bit to make it a little bit easier to turn in. And then you wanna turn it in as much as possible, and you wanna make sure that the two little adjusters have that gap so that you can end up pulling this forward and then you will end up bringing it out to disconnect it from the clutch cable. But before we do that, I'm gonna take off that eight millimeter nut that was on the, underneath. So let's do that now. I already loosened it, so it's basically just gonna come right off.
Alright, there's the nut. Put that over there. Now I'm going to keep this piece in there for now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the lever in and then pull this out like so. And now I'm going to take this bolt out. Alright, there's your bolt. Okay, so this little cover, it just pulls down and out of the way. Alright, there's the cover. So it's literally just going to click back in. Obviously, before you do the uh, pulling the cable out, make sure that this cover just pulls straight down. You may have to wiggle around a little bit because there's that little tip there. Because you don't want to break this part, and I almost did that, so. Alright, so this is going to come like this. Now there is a micro switch in there. And if you could see it, I don't know. But this little black part of the lever ends up going against it. It goes against the bottom one actually. That's the micro switch. So we're just going to pull this forward, move this out of the way. Alright, now we can have access to this. I'm actually going to lube my cable before I put it back into the bike. So let me do that first. Alright, so we have our two levers here. You have your stock one and your M lever. Now you are going to need the collar that's in here, this little black part, and the spring. So what you end up doing is you press this down a little bit to compress it, and then you get something like, you know, little either a socket or you know anything just to push through here as long as it fits the collar comes out be careful this is spring loaded all right then you got this piece and you have your spring now what you're going to do is next is take your collar you want to grease it up so we're going to put some waterproof grease on this baby Get it nice and lubed up. All right, put that down there for a second. Now you need to take a spring. Here's your lever, and there's a little space right in there. That's where this goes. Just hold that like that for now. Be careful of this part. It is plastic, so it can break. Then you need to line this up. There's that little, that little, uh, little thing sticking out the little nub. That's gonna go and go into the uh, the spring. Ooh, almost lost the spring. So obviously the spring has to be on there. spring lined up with the two. Make sure it's in the hole. Then you're going to compress this down a little bit and you're going to go put your collar in here. I'm actually going to do it from this way. I don't think it's going to really make a difference but this is the way that I'm going to do it. Okay, and then make sure that goes all the way through and that it's solid. Now, if for some reason this collar doesn't fit in here, you may have to take a file, obviously when this part's not on, and just file the inside of this hole and this one at the same time. Um, I actually had to do this on mine. You know, it might not happen. It just, you know, maybe when they made the part you know, is off that, that millimeter, whatever it was. But now since you got that in there, make sure your spring is in there good. Make sure it's correct. Now this part can go back on the bike. So let's put that back on there. All right, that goes in there. 
and you just turn it this way. Now you got to be careful because you got your micro switch there. You don't want to end up screwing it up. So let's get these holes lined up as best as we can. And then we're going to softly and slowly get this into place and just just be wary of where the lever is and that micro switch because you don't want to end up replacing it. So now that we basically got this where it needs to be, I'm just going to let that be. I'm going to get the uh, bolt right here. And I need to lube this really quick. As you can see, I greased up my bolt. Now I'm just going to push this in ever so slightly and get this in there. Make sure it goes down. And we want to make sure that we're not screwing up the micro switch, which we are not. You got those two right there. Maybe a little hard to see, but on video. It seems that the bottom part is there and that's there, so that should be perfect. Now I'm just going to take my T30 and uh, let's get this grease off here. And then just start screwing this in a little bit so we can. This where this needs to be. All right, that's in. I mean, you don't gotta screw it, but you just literally gotta push it down. So we are making sure our switch is all hooked up good. That should be set to go. Now you're going to want to end up. I don't know. How this is going to be on the view, but I'm going to need to pull this up. So I should just go like this. So if you have somebody with you, obviously they could use like, you know, a back, a back of a screwdriver to push the clutch actuator arm to give you a little bit more length. I'm actually going to push this lever up a little bit and then I should just fit right in there. Ah fuck, tight. So what I might do since there's just some pressure, pull it in and the second this pulls back Nope, that didn't work. All right, so there we go, boom. I'm gonna get that into place. There it is. All right, we got the cable there. Seems like it will activate the switch properly. So we'll do that. We are going to start turning this out. That feels pretty good. So what I did was I actually measured the space between these two. I used the micrometer to see exactly how far apart it was. I'll show you what it was on mine before I switched the lever out. It may be a little bit different on yours, give or take, but it should give you a good starting ground. So let me show you that now, the picture of it. All right, so now that I have this part adjusted to what it was, now I'm going to put this cover on, and um, it literally just pops right on there. So we'll put that in now. Seems like that little notch goes in first. Obviously all this is is just a little cover to protect the cable and to keep dust away from the micro switch. Now there might be a little slot that that part goes into so I gotta find it. So this part, the back part is just the cap. And it seems like the little slot is a little bit towards the back part of it. Yep, so the slot's like right almost where this perch is. Let me get up so you can see a better view. 
the slot is right around there, almost at the end of the perch. So that part will slide in, and then it just kind of chills right over there. And then that's good. Check your, uh, your lever operation. Feels good. Push that back down. And then I'm going to take the nut and put this on there. And that's why I have my towel right here. So if I drop it, because it is a very small nut, you know, it won't end up falling down. I will put a little thread locker on that, just like I did the other one. And uh, I believe you're going to tighten this to six Newton meters as well. All right, so I am going to put a little bit of Loctite on those threads and obviously you can't get really get in there with that so I am using this little q-tip I'm gonna put a Loctite on here and then I'll spread it around on the uh, on the threads and you know obviously you don't need a crazy amount you're just gonna need a little bit so we we're doing that and this is exactly how I did the threads on the other side in case you guys were wondering. All right, so that's done. Now I'm gonna take my nut, I get my eight millimeter small socket. I'm gonna put the nut in there. Oh, almost dropped it. Put the nut in there. And then I'm gonna hold down on that and just slowly and carefully Keep turning this thing till it grabs. I'm pretty sure I got it. I'll just keep going. Okay. Yeah, now it's definitely on there. Keep turning it. Okay. So obviously it's not gonna fall now, but we do have this just in case. Get the eight millimeter on that, put it tighten. And we got our T30. 30? Yeah, 230. Now we're just going to snug this up. Alright, so I'm going to tighten this up a little bit until it gets a little snug, and then I'm going to make sure it's torqued to 6 Newton meters. Obviously, make sure you know you take this thing for a test ride. You know, you may have to loosen this part up a little bit or bring it out, depending. You want to make sure you have a little bit of free play on the clutch lever and that's it guys and then uh, we'll see how much the dealer is going to actually end up charging for this job and to see how much money he saved so here's the finished product of how the levers look when they are installed and they give a nice touch to the bike i did ask the dealer for a quote on how much it would be to install these and they said anywhere from you know, like an hour, which is like 110 bucks to almost an hour and a half. So you're saving anywhere from, you know, 110 to like 165. So all you need is this video, guys. Hope this helped everybody out. I'll see you guys in the next one.